Can I trust the safety of a COVID vaccine? Does everyone need to take it? Can I wait around six months and see its effects on other people before I decide? Vaccine news has been the light at the end of the tunnel for most of us. But there's still quite a few skeptics who believe in the science of vaccines but aren't quite convinced about a COVID vaccine. This vaccine is out way too soon. It's been developed in record time, the fastest in history. How can I trust they didn't just rush through it because of political pressure? How can I trust it's safe? Firstly, I think it's important to understand that uh, we are really looking at history. This is the first time in the history of human disease that a pandemic will be controlled using vaccine. Now, so you have to understand what has really happened, why vaccines which used to take about 10 years to develop have been developed in less than a year. Two things have happened. One is that uh, the processes earlier used to be sequential. Mm. So you do the research, then you know you do animal trials, and once animal trials are done, you get approval for uh, phase one in humans. Once that is over, you go to phase two, then phase three. Approval happens, and only when efficacy is proven, then companies start building facilities to make vaccines. All that takes time. Now, in between every step, there is a regulatory approval. That regulatory approval also used to take months. Mm. That timeline has been compressed from months to days now. So that's a that's the big change. The other big change is that many of the steps are now running in parallel. So you may have seen that even before complete animal data came out, phase one had started. Uh, similarly, phase one and phase two permission was given together. To show whether a vaccine works or not, you have to depend upon the human immune system. And the human immune system remains the same today as it was last year or the year before or 10 years ago. The other thing is, you know, emergency use approval only comes after you have, uh, after two months have passed since the last vaccine injection. That is still happening. Now there is a scientific reason why two months, why not three months, why not one month? The reason simply is that while most adverse effects show up in the first week, a majority of adverse events, a large majority will show up in about six weeks time. If you have had no adverse events within six weeks, you are unlikely to have any adverse events beyond that. So that's why uh, two months. So the science has been followed. It's just that things have been compressed to speed up things where we could speed things up. So uh, I think, yes, the anxiety is real because nobody has experienced this. Uh, but I can say that uh, the safety corners have not been cut. You know, you also can't lose faith in vaccines. Vaccines are really the most economical public health measure. हम ये कैसे सुनिश्चित कर सकते हैं कि वैक्सीन एक विश्वसनीय और सुरक्षित इलाज होगा हो सकता है कि मैं वैक्सीन लगवाने से पहले छः महीने तक वेट करूं और पहले ये देखूं कि बाकी लोग कैसे रिएक्ट करते हैं आफ्टर ऑल इट्स अ पर्सनल चॉइस नो बड इज गोइंग टू ग्रैब यू एंड इंजेक्ट अ वैक्सीन इन टू यू देन नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन विल बी शुड आई टेक वैक्सीन ए और वैक्सीन बी विच इज बेटर uh again that's not a question that can be answered directly simply because vaccines are tested against a placebo against a salt solution mm. two vaccines are not tested head to head against each other so the effect of the vaccine is not going to diminish in six months time but if somebody wants to wait to see what happens to others who take the vaccine before i take the vaccine uh that's a personal choice in the sense that uh, whether you think you are 
at risks for getting the viral infection or not. So from a personal point of view, if the cost of getting infected by the virus is lower than the cost of getting the vaccine, then you will wait out. I think if you are in two minds because of the safety issue, uh, that I think is a fear that is misplaced. Mm -hmm. But the question is, should you wait for two years to know that because you are prone to COVID today? Yeah. If you think you are living in a bubble and you're not prone to COVID, don't take the vaccine. But, you know, if you go out, if you go to work, if you go open your shop and do business, mm -hmm. if you go to a restaurant, you're always prone. We are in, in the middle of a pandemic. I don't really need to get vaccinated. Maybe the rest of the 60% can get the vaccine and provide me with herd immunity. What's the, what's the guarantee that you won't get it while everyone around you is uh, getting COVID? Uh, what's the chance that you won't get it? Mm -hmm. You know, Sweden tried this. Sweden as a country said, we will achieve herd immunity. Go look at news reports and see what's happening in Sweden. ICUs are full, hospitals are full, their mortality rate is among the highest in the world. And, fine, and also, you know, this virus uh, is bad in a sense that you may survive the virus, but the after effects it leaves on your cardiovascular vascular system on your kidneys, on your liver, on your other systems is not something we fully understand. Uh, so yes, I would say that if you really want to be living your life the way you're supposed to be living your life, take the vaccine. The risk from vaccine is much less than the risk from COVID. I am going out so much. I feel like I will have COVID. I don't think I need to vaccine for the vaccine. Well, there is merit in that argument. Uh, you know, a, a vaccine will not give you better immunity than natural infection. My advice would be go get an antibody test done. And if you are antibody positive, don't take the vaccine. There have been various drugs and treatments like hydroxychloroquine or plasma therapy. They had initially claimed to have helped against COVID, but they were later recalled after further studies. So how do I really trust a vaccine? There is a very big difference that people don't uh, realize. None of the medications, whether it was hydroxychloroquine or remdesivir or anything, were tested in a double-blind manner against a control. We never knew about the efficacy of hydroxychloroquine or remdesivir or plasma therapy. Uh, they were all anecdotal reports. So there was never a controlled trial of any of this. And when controlled trials took place, then they fell apart. Mm -hmm.